What was wrong with the answer? It does not have a full stop. Okay. So in this activity that we are going to do, when we talk about fill in the blank spaces, you're supposed to type, ensure that you don't forget a full stop. It becomes part of a penalty for whoever will not. Oh, okay. Omara, okay. Omara, let's first leave about our position. Let's only look at the review now. Hmm? Rajab uh, has said the missionary is a person who comes from a foreign land to another land to preach the word of God. That missed out a full stop. Let's get my friend here who passed, Macklin. I think we should, first of all, give Macklin flowers very fast. Macklin, a missionary is a person who leaves his land to go to a foreign land to spread the word of God. See the full stop of Macklin. And that makes her correct. That's how we are going to do our examinations tomorrow. Next week, I mean to say, we have to look at the important things in our lessons. Okay? Let's continue. So the answer should have a full stop. The answer should have a full stop. And it should be a complete sentence. Now let's look at this. A missionary is a person who comes from an unknown land. No, 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 no. We have all seen that missionaries came from Britain. So it's not unknown land. Francis Romeo. I hope you are in this call, Francis. Let's first check whether Francis on, is on this call so that we can, we can hear from him. Francis, pick up your call, Francis. Yes, teacher. Now you see how you answered this question carelessly. Yes, teacher. Can you read, can you read your answer? A missionary is a person who comes from an unknown land to spread Christianity. But we said missionaries came from where? In our lesson, we said missionaries came from Britain. And they wrote a letter to them, and they were sponsored by the Church Missionary Society. It cannot be unknown land, my boy. So let us be careful when we are answering questions. Okay? Uh -huh. Let's get from this person, Gideon, Elton, and Judith. Uh -huh. Congratulations, Gideon. You got it right, this question. Okay? Let us get to Gideon. And then uh, Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. I don't know, Gideon. Yeah, they are here. Yes, Gideon. Yes, teacher. Thank you for answering the question carefully. Yes. We must make sure that we remember our full stop, start the sentence with a capital letter and put a full stop. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, but we didn't finish. The, we didn't finish. You didn't finish the questions. Yes. yes. No, I think it was because of time. We are trying to save time so that we can learn much, okay? Okay. But you are a careful team. Thank you very much. That's a very careful team. Aha. Uh -huh. Najemba and praise. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Those other people were not able to play this game up to now. I thought now you are champions of cuisine. Okay. So I think the problem with this question was, one, the order of the sentence. A missionary is a person who leaves his country to another. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Even if it doesn't have a full, a full stop. Mm -hmm. Joanna, thank you. Joanna, take note. So when we are answering this question, now look at this friend of mine here. This is Ronald. Ronald, Ronald, you need help. Ronald, we don't answer questions using capital letters all over. Where is Ronald? Yes, Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Ronald, can you hear me? Oh, sorry, Ronald is not on. So that was being careless. We have to be very careful when we are answering questions, okay? 
somebody is not able to see the screen care well uh-huh i think i will you need to rejoin i cannot i, I don't want to to put off this okay because we want to check people's answers and see how careless they were. Those who were careful were able to pass the question. A missionary is a person who leaves his homeland and comes to a foreign land, country, without completing. Are you seeing? Are you seeing, Jacinta? You did not complete the sentence. You were going to get it right. So that was how that question was answered. Let's check the next question. The next question. The longest question, who is a missionary? Uh -huh. Took 54 seconds for people to answer, but they passed it very right. A missionary, okay. That was still the question, who is a missionary? Fine. So let us move on. Three questions had an accuracy of less than 40%. Okay. So we want to thank so much Courtney, Tracy, and the, her friend. They passed all right. Uh, Ethan was able to pass three and lost two. Okay. Many people were able to pass three and they left and they lost two. But we want to congratulate everyone for performing well. Our best this day, our best this week is Courtney, Tracy, and her sister. They got 100% correct. We have Grant Birunji got 80%. Joanna got 80%. Abigail and our friend 80%. And then we come down to even those people who got 20. We even have those who got 20, like Nerisha got 20. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you for attempting the review activity. This was our lesson for last week. Okay. Allow me now to exit and then get back to share our lesson for today. So that is what you are going to do in your examinations. I am going to set examinations in a way that it will be in Google Forms. So you have to be very careful to look at full stop, capital letter, you know, be smart when you are answering your work. I have got many chats. Let me go to chats very fast. Oh, these are just a thank you, thank you, thank you. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. So let us continue. Ivana, you came late, that's why. Okay. So uh, today's lesson, we are going to look at uh, a group. A group, oh, this was just uh, directing you that we shall use quiz to review the previous lesson. Um, so, the missionaries, we said they came in two major groups that was Protestant missionaries and then Catholic missionaries. Protestant missionaries and then Catholic missionaries. Uh, in this lesson, we complete, I mean, in the previous lesson, we completed the Protestant missionaries, and that's why we were trying to review. So today we are introducing the Roman Catholic missionaries. We are introducing the Roman Catholic missionaries, okay? The Roman Catholic missionaries were also called the White Fathers. Now, somebody who was saying that he, he, they come from unknown land, that's very wrong. This particular group of missionaries came from France. They came from France. That's why they call them the Roman Catholic. Locally known as Roma. The, the Baganda called them Roma. Okay? So the White Fathers came from France and uh, they arrived in Uganda in 1879. Historians should take note of that time. Okay, I explained it to you about time. Uh, they were led by Father Simon Laud Laudel, Laudel, sorry, Father Simon Laudel and his brother Amans Delmas. Okay, now I want you to compare the Roman Catholic missionaries and the Anglican missionaries about their leadership. Okay, because uh, you can be asked to name the leaders of the different missionary groups, okay? So you should be able to know who was the leader of the Protestant 
Huh? Let me first get to Prosper. Yes, Prosper. This is very interesting. Prosper. Prosper, pick up your call. Yes, yes, yeah. yes Prosper. Did you attend the last week's lesson? Yes. Very good. Uh, we mentioned the leader of the Protestant missionaries. What whom did we say was the leader? The first group was led by who? The first group was led by oh, my friend, you have forgotten. Who can remind us about the leadership of who the Protestant missionaries or the Anglican missionaries? They were led by who? Aaron is ready. Yes, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Who was the leader? Okay, quickly let me go to the chat. The chat is always having sweet answers. I always love this group. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody has a bad signal on the other side and is not able to hear us completely. Sorry, sorry about that. Mm, okay, somebody has also said you cannot. I think let's first help these people. Let's first help these people with complaints. Let me stop sharing, then I reshare again. I reshare again. Okay. Ah, I hope you can now see. I hope you can now see the screen. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. people are already giving the answer. Paul Patel, thank you very much. Paul Patel is my savior, has given us the answer here. That the, the group was led by C.T. Wilson. Very good girl. The group was led by C.T. Wilson and his brother uh, wonderful children thank you very much thank you very much uh Taewa, thank you Th thank you Taewa. Taewa has also given us a very good answer here the leader was ct wilson okay so then you have to compare okay ct wilson has come with the anglican or the protestant missionary as a leader now here with the roman catholic missionaries we have got Father Simon Laudel. I mean, Laudel, Bell. This word is Bell, not Bell. Laudel. He's the one with his brother, Amans. Amans was a brother, a Catholic brother. I think some of you who know, uh, who are Catholics, you know when I say brother Amans, Delmas, you know who a brother is in the Catholic Church. So these are the leaders. Okay. We have brought C.T. Wilson just to compare the leaders of the Anglican missionaries and the leaders of the Catholic missionaries. So the group of Father Simon Laudel were later joined by Father Leon Livnek. These are French names. They are very difficult to pronounce. Okay. And then Lodric Greenard Greenard. And then Father Leo Babot. These are French men, the French fathers. The second group that joined the first group of those of who? Father Simon. I hope we are following that. In our the other side, we talked of the second group that was that was uh, when uh, those of uh, Alexander Mackay joined the group. Now here we have got Father Leon joining the group of those of Father Simon Laudel. Okay, so I want you to follow and compare this team as they came. Okay, all right. Let's continue. The Roman Catholic missionaries were sent by Cardinal Cavengeri of missionaries of Africa and Algeria. Now. The other ones were sent by the Church Missionary Society. Now, the Roman Catholic are sent by a cardinal. The Catholics here know who a cardinal is in the church. Okay? The Catholics here know who a cardinal is in the church, in the Catholic church. So the Roman Catholic missionaries were sent by Cardinal Cavengire. 
of which missionaries? The missionaries of Africa and Algeria, okay? The other ones were the Church Missionary Society. Now this one is the missionaries of Africa and Algeria, okay? You can also abbreviate it. The other time we abbreviated the other ones as a CMS. Now these ones are M A A M A A. Aha, uh -huh. let me try with my funny handwriting here. It's not easy, but I hope I will get it. Aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh. like that. Missionaries of Africa and Algeria. Okay, so that was the key point to note there. The people, the, the, the group, the society that sent the Roman Catholic missionaries. Mm -hmm. So other groups of Catholic missionaries now joined this. And we have the following. I want you to tell me if you know or if you belong to any of these groups of fathers, okay? We have the Holy Ghost Fathers. We have the Mill Hill Fathers. We have the White Fathers and then the Comboni Fathers. I saw the Comboni missionaries. I saw this when I was in South Sudan. That's when I saw this group of missionaries called the Komboni Fathers. I found them in a place called Kajokeji in South Sudan. I also found them in Kator in Juba, the Komboni Fathers. So this, uh, I also, I think I also know something. I know some, I know also some called the White Fathers. I think I know this one the White Fathers. So in your community where you come from, you, you can find out the group of uh, fathers or the group of missionaries that your church belongs. If you are a Catholic, you can find out from your church. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Omara says, what about the Holy Ghost Fathers? Those ones are also there, Omara. They are also there, the Holy Ghost Fathers. They are there. They operate. Oh, somebody has sent us something here. I don't understand. Mm, Courtney, let me check out. Oh, this is Abigail. Abigail, what could be this? Yes, Abigail? Yes, Abigail. What could be this? I think I should first find out from Abigail. Maybe she has sent us some information. Abigail? Abigail, yes. Abigail, pick up your call. Okay, fine. Let's continue. Let's leave with these people. I think she has sent us something I cannot check. Let's first continue with our lesson. We shall check that later. Okay, okay. Somebody has talked of the Franciscan, the Franciscan fathers, uh-huh. Uh, the Holy Ghost fathers. Why were they called the Holy Ghost fathers? <laughs> now, uh, I think uh, the names of these fathers, I am not well versed. I don't know how the names of these fathers, how a name of a congregation is formed. Uh, but I think uh, in the in the in the sisterhood, most of them are formed after a certain saint, okay? Because we have got uh, the little sisters of St. Francis of Aziz. So those ones are formed after a certain saint, St. Francis of Aziz. But with the Catholic fathers, I don't know how these names come into existence. But what you should know is that they are a group of Catholic missionaries that came in after... Uh, the, the team of Lauben arrived in Uganda. And these missionaries have formed different communities. We even have the Komboni Fathers, I think they are in Namgongo. I have seen also something like that around Namgongo there, Namgongo Shrine. So I don't know much how these are formed, but we should get to know that they are a group of Catholic missionaries. Okay. 
we can continue. Now, when we look at the problems faced by missionaries, we are looking at the problems faced by all the missionaries. I told you that today we are going to recap, we are going to conclude uh, learning about the missionaries in our lesson today. We are going to conclude now after looking at the Catholic missionaries, after looking at the groups of missionaries that came, I want us now to check on the problems that all the missionaries faced, both the Protestant missionaries and the Catholic missionaries, okay? Someone is on chat trying to tell us to go back, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know whether we should really go back, but uh, I think uh, I think we should continue. I think we should continue going back. We'll take our time. Oh no, this is who that we should go back now. Eh, that will be funny. Fine. I think we need to help this person has given a very serious reason why we should go back. Her screen was not. She, she was not seeing the screen and she has not seen anything. She was only hearing. Fine. The Roman Catholic missionaries, we said that they are also called the White Fathers. That's another name they gave them, the White Fathers. The White Fathers came from France, I say, and they arrived in Uganda in 1879. They were led by Father Simon. Laudel, and then Brother Amans Delmas. These are French names. They are a little bit difficult to pronounce. They were later joined by Father Leon, Levinic, and then Laudric, and Father Leon, Barbot. Like we said last week, that the Protestant missionaries were led by C.T. Wilson. Here, the Catholic missionaries were led by Simon Laudel, Father Simon Laudel, and Brother Aman Stelmas. Last week, we said that the Protestant missionaries were later on joined by Mackay. Here, we are saying the Roman Catholic missionaries were later joined by Father Leon. Take note of that. Mm. The Roman Catholic missionaries, the Roman Catholic missionaries were sent by a special group of people. Okay. Sorry, the black square on the screen. I don't see, I don't see, please. I don't see the black square on the screen. The Roman Catholic missionaries were sent by Cardinal Cavengeri of Missionaries of Africa. We gave it in short, MAA, Missionaries of Africa and Algeria. Why have we given it in short? Because the Roman, I mean the Anglican Catholic, I mean the Anglican missionaries also were sent by the CMS, that is the Church Missionary Society. So the Roman Catholic missionaries were sent by missionaries of Africa and Algeria, okay? And then now we looked at the other groups and we mentioned the different fathers, the Holy Ghost fathers, the Mill Hill fathers, the White fathers, and then the Comboni fathers. These are groups of who? Catholic missionaries that joined later, okay? Now, oh, my friend was not there last week, but I hope now you are comparing because I'm trying to relate last week's work with the one for today. Okay, fine. Now, we are going to the problems. We are now going to the problems the problems that were faced by missionaries. All the missionaries, someone, some people on chat are already giving these prob problems. I'm very proud of you. Uh, we had language difficulty or language barrier. 
Now, when we are giving problems faced by missionaries, don't write language. Mm -mm. You have to write either language difficulty, that's a problem, difficult to, you know, to talk. You cannot just say language, it will not have a sense. Or you say language barrier, okay? They experienced, who are they? Missionaries experienced shortage of supplies like drugs, food, and many others, okay? When we say supplies, we are meaning food. So don't say missionaries faced the shortage of supplies. Then again, you say missionaries faced the shortage of food. Then again, you say missionaries faced the shortage of drugs. That becomes one answer, okay? When they say give any two, don't separate these examples. The missionaries experienced shortage of supplies, full stop. If you want to say shortage of supplies, then don't again put in the next answer that they experienced shortage of drugs. No. Okay. The missionaries were attacked by tropical diseases. Now, tropical diseases, these are diseases that are found in the tropics of Africa. You don't get them when you go to the countries that are not in the tropics, okay? Like malaria, diseases like malaria, you don't get them in those other countries where mosquitoes cannot survive, okay? Such cold areas, you cannot get tropical diseases. They also have their diseases that are related to their weather. Okay. They were also attacked by unfriendly tribes. The missionaries were attacked by unfriendly tribes. Why do you think that the missionaries were attacked by unfriendly tribes? Now, since the missionaries were also white, the Arabs were also white, you know, so they were compared by the hostile Arab traders. And so they were attacked. You have seen how uh, Bishop Huntington was killed just because he passed the wrong route to enter Buganda. So such kind of superstitions were working in African traditional religion. And that's why some of the missionaries were, they fell victims of African superstitions, of African traditional religion. They fell victims and they lost their lives, okay? So missionaries were attacked by unfriendly tribes simply because they didn't know the intentions of this particular group of people. Okay, let's move on. Somebody has given me the chat here. Jerry, I always send these notes in the Google Classroom after the lesson, Jeremy. I always send these notes after the lesson. So let's first pay attention. Okay. So let's continue to other problems. We have got uh, somebody mentioned about harsh climatic conditions. Very good one. Uh, problems of uh, transport, poor means of transport and communication. Now, when we say transport and communication, we are simply meaning the, the movement, okay? We, we never had, remember the first bicycle was actually brought by a missionary. So that means that the problem of trans, the means of transport, the means of road transport was a very big problem. Even the means of water transport were a big problem. The means of air transport was a big problem. So all these problems, uh, the different means of transport never existed. It was after the coming of the one of the missionary, I think you remember his name, after his arrival, that's when we got our first eh, Ralga, Ralga bicycle. Hmm? So there was a difficulty of movement. Most of the movement, uh, somebody has asked question, how were they then moving? Wow. They were moving through porters. Hmm? They, were, they were carried. People could carry them on their backs when they reached a river crossing a river, they could be carried. Some of them also were, were carried on donkeys, camels, okay? So that was the problem. Kaziwe, Kaziwe says I'm fast. I think today I'm very slow. Okay. 
Let me try to reduce the speed because of Kaziwe. Okay. All right. Somebody has given us the sleeping sickness as one of the tropical diseases. Very good, Nakazi. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have moved away the you know when I when I give a chance for people to talk, that is when the black square comes. I think so. But let me try, let me try to reduce that black square and take it this way. Mm -hmm. Then I ask my friend here whether he has seen the black square again. Who was this one saying there is a black square? Robert, oh, someone, <laughs> somebody has given us Robert a heavy, a heavy room. His name is difficult. Fine. Let me look for you. A heavy. Uh, Hosea, ah, Hosea, Hosea, pick up your call. Yes, please. Where is the black square now? In the top right corner. Aha, uh -huh, that is where I'm going to be putting on it. Thank you very much, Hosea. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that you are, you, I can see you. When I'm getting you, I will be able to quickly search you from that black black that corner now okay please i hope we can now continue hosea yes it, it doesn't now interrupt anything yes oh, okay hosea thank you very much for being a very keen learner i think hosea is very smart he said he used to send me that message frequently the black square the black square okay fine I hope I have done it now. It's okay now. So, oh, my admin is talking to me here. Let me first hear from my admin. Okay. Fine. Let us stop it. Let us stop this black square now. Okay. I hope now everything is okay. I'm trying to stop that black square from coming. Picture the black. <laughs> ankunda, ankunda, ankunda. Okay, let me first stop sharing. Then I do it again. That might disappear. That might disappear. Let me even stop optimizing this video and I remove the sound and then I share it again. Uh -huh. how, uh, how is it now? Somebody respond to me on the chat. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. Fine. So the problem of poor means of transport and communication. Then we have harsh climatic conditions. Those are a few of the examples. We also somebody also gave me this shortly attacks from man eaters these man eaters were the wild animals the man eaters were the wild animals okay now examples of these animals actually we can talk of the lions the lions the cheetah the pan all those dangerous animals were very many in our area and that's why Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The spelling of attacks. Very good boy. We missed out letter A here. Very good boy. I love that. So we can put there attacks. Mm -hmm. Attacks from man eaters, the dangerous wild animals that we have given examples already. So, uh -huh, somebody has said crocodiles. <laughs> yes, someone has said crocodiles. We had very many of them. And up to now, Africa is still blessed by those very dangerous animals like snakes, very heavy snakes. Okay, fine. So let's continue. I hope we have taken note of that. Uh, next one, we are looking at the results. Let me first see if time can allow us. Yeah, we can move on ways the missionaries overcame some of the problems they faced 
How are they able to overcome the problems they faced? Let me hear from a few of us who can take us through. How were they able to overcome? How were they able to overcome the problems they faced? Somebody can give us the different ways in which the missionaries were able to overcome some of those problems. Let me go to call and find someone to give us the answer here. Abdul Shakur. Yes, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. A problem like, uh -huh. yes, Shakur. Yes, Shakur, teacher. can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, the problem like language barrier. How were the missionaries able to overcome that problem? Uh, Abdul Shakur. Yes, teacher. Have you ever been to the mosque? Yes. And it's and the sheikh is preaching. Yes. He preaches and says some of the surahs in Arabic. Yes. Well, how do you overcome that problem? By I I be taught by someone. Hey, you will be told that so you learn the local language. Yes. So even the missionaries were able to learn the local languages, especially Swahili. But also, Shakur, also we can use interpreters. My friends on chat, somebody has given me the answer. Oh, very good, Omara. They went with interpreters from the coast. They moved with interpreters. Ah, wonderful, Timothy. Timothy, I'm very happy you, you have given a very good answer. They were moving with interpreters. That's what I wanted Abdul Shakur to, to explain to us, that when someone is preaching in the church and then, you know, there is language barrier, you can always get an interpreter and then you learn the language. Okay, so let's move on. These people learned Swahili, as I said, but they were also able to move with the interpreters. They also learned some local languages, and that helped them to, they, they taught Ugandans how to preach fellow Ugandans. This was a very powerful thing they did. And up to now, I can ask a question here. Let me ask a question here. Can somebody name for us one of those Ugandans that were taught, Amanda. Amanda. Yes, uh -huh. teacher. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Tell us one of the Ugandans that were taught to preach to fellow Ugandans. Uh, the, the matters. Well, did you attend the last week's lesson? No, teacher. My life, I wasn't well and power had gone. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then I am going to get someone. I think I saw Paul Patel that day. Paul Patel, I saw you that day. Yes, Paul Patel. Yes, teacher. Can you tell us the name of this Ugandan who was taught to preach fellow Ugandans? And he went to Western Uganda. He went to Congo. He became the apostle of the, of the, of the pygmies. Apollo Chibebula, eh? Pronounce it well, please. <laughs> Apollo Chibebula, eh? Very good, girl. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? That was a good one. Even here on chat, I have got very beautiful and handsome children who are giving me the answer. Let me check. Let me check this answer. Uh, uh, Chigundu, no. Chigundu did not give. That was Apollo Chiveblaya. Pal Patel cannot pronounce well. Apollo Chiveblaya. It is two names, okay? Apollo is one name. Then Chiveblaya was another name, meaning he came from Ulaya. Ankunda, thank you. Ankunda has given us. Ankunda, you gave it after Pal Patel. Okay, fine. We thank you all for 
attempting that question. That is what we mean learning. We should be able to remember what we have learned in the previous lesson and be able to interpret, be able to understand and comprehend when we say they taught Ugandans to preach the fellow Ugandans. Then you should quickly go to our apostle of the pygmies, Apollo Chiveblaya. So Apollo Chiveblaya then helped a lot to overcome many of the problems, especially the problem of language barrier, because he was able to articulate Luganda and teach the word of God in Luganda, in Swahili. Yeah, I think even he learned the Congolese. That man was a powerful man. And the Holy Spirit was with him. Okay. So let's move on to the effects. Effects are divided into two. Our time is over, but I want to quickly run through the effects. The effects are the results. What happened after the missionaries uh, arriving in Uganda? What changes happened? Okay, what new things were brought? What were the good ones? And that's what we call positive effects. They are the positive results of missionary work. Okay, quickly, let's go through them. Let's go through them. I want you to take note of them. And also take note that I'm not going to give activity. This work will be examined in the next week. So I will not give activity in Google Classroom. I will only give this work in examinations next week. Okay? The missionaries introduced Christianity. That was the effect. That was the result. That was positive. Very good one. The missionaries introduced formal education, this that we are having now, the one we have embraced today. They also introduced new crops. We mentioned about, we talked about cotton, was one of the crops introduced by the missionaries. And then they built hospitals. We gave examples of the hospital that was built by the missionaries, Mango Hospital. And then they built schools. I think schools, there are very many of them. We have got St. Risa Namagunga, we have got Mount St. Mary's Namagunga, we have got uh, many of them, you, 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 are, you know these schools owned by the missionaries. We have Namirembe and many others, Ebenezer. Okay, so these are a few of the positive effects of the missionaries. Thank you very much. Amanda? There you are. Take us through. Amanda is having a question. Let's first find out from Amanda what could be the question. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Yes, Amanda. If you have a question, just put on the chat. We shall always read and answer. Yes, yes Amanda. Teacher. Uh -huh. yes, teacher, like when they came, like did they teach all of them then when the like was there was their intention to come? And certain their hearts for easy colonization or to preach the word of God, or both of them was their intention. Amanda, you are going to become a historian who is very biased. Amanda? Yes, teacher. The missionaries, according to the four reasons, did we give the, yeah, there were four reasons. No, I think there were three, yeah, three. One was to teach people how to read and write. Amanda? Yes, teacher. The missionaries came to spread Christianity. Amanda? Yes, teacher. And then the missionaries came to promote Western civilization. Now, as a, a, a person studying history, I know your teachers have told you that the missionaries came to soften the hearts of people for colonialism. Isn't yeah. it? But that is not uh, an academic reason for the coming of missionaries. Okay? Yes, teacher. It is, the, it is uh, a conclusion after the research work. So it is not authentic, it is not right for you to say they came to, no, no, no. In academia, if they ask you, give one reason why the missionaries came to Uganda. Don't you say they came to soften their hearts. No, 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 please don't. That yes, answer yes. is elaborated, it's expanded from the word promoting Western civilization. Okay? Yes, if, you yes. go to, if you go to higher, higher levels of learning and they ask you, how did the missionaries promote Western civilization? 
that is now when you can give those reasons by preaching to people so that eh, people will love one another. You know, those are the answers that you will now give. But for now, primary five, I want you to be very simple and direct to your point that they promoted Western civilization. Yes. And Western civilization includes, among others, the colonial system of administration. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, Amanda. Amanda is a, a child who I think she has sisters or brothers in the secondary school. So they explain to her those things. And then she gets off from the lesson. But you don't mind about that. Let us be simple. We are in primary five, I assume. Even if you're in primary six there, but you're attending a primary five lesson. So learn like a primary five child, okay? All right, so let's continue. Uh-huh, Pavel Patel said they built Mengo Hospital. Very good. Mm, Karim says they preached the word of God. That's Christianity. Good. Okay. Those are messages. We want to look at the negative effects quickly, and then we shall ask someone to pray. Negative effects. They preached against traditional culture. Traditional culture. They preached against traditional culture. Don't use the roots for treatment. Don't put on those skins in your hand. Don't dress back a cloth. You should put on a cotton cloth that is made from the cotton that was introduced by missionaries. Oh, they led to religious wars. Wars between the Roman Catholics and then the Anglican. Wars between the Catholics and Muslims. War between the Muslims and Protestants. And that paved the way for the coming of colonialists. They led to religious division. People are now divided, others are... That is religious division. So those are negative effects of who? Uh, the missionary work, negative effects of the missionary work. We had given a chance to Ronald to lead us in prayer, but I want to make these announcements, please. If you missed any of our lessons, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and then you watch the video, okay? That is one way of learning, right? So quickly, let's get Ronald so that he can say prayer and then we end. Ronald, religious, oh, okay. Somebody says, what is the meaning of the word conflict? Oh, sorry, I think I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. The word conflict, do I have it here? No, uh -huh. I tried it to be a little bit simple. When we say conflict, we mean disagreement that will lead to division, okay? I tried as much as possible to avoid those words like conflicts because this is primary five. You may find difficulties to answer, okay? So, Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, please, today, give me a chance to pray. But we had given a chance to someone called Ronald. Maybe if Ronald is not on call, then I will come to you. I will come to you, Nakanja. Oh, let me first check Ronald. Ah, Ronald is here. He's going to pray. Ronald is on call. Yes, Ronald. Ronald? Ronald, can you hear me? Ronald, can you hear me? Okay. I think Ronald is not able to hear me. That's when I will go to now Naka and Jaco. Ronald is not able to hear me. Now let me quickly go to you. Nanka, 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 Nanka. Ronald is not able to hear me. Let me now come to you, Nanka. Yes, pick up your call now, Nanka. Hey, that's Nathanael again. Sorry. Yes, Nathanael. Yes, teacher. Please, Nathanael, pray for us as we end our lesson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that our examination, we may pass our examination we may we 
we may be smart. Bless our our teachers. Bless Christian School Owners Association. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. In the name of yes. the Father, the Father and of the, the Son, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Nathanael, thank you very much. Amanda, Amanda has a question. Let's help Amanda before we end the call. Amanda doesn't understand. Yes, Amanda. Amanda? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, like some people will be learning, like they don't learn already, like they have lessons from their school on Zoom and here. So like on when you're having the examinations, are we going to like have, is there going to be a due time for them to, a due time to finish? Now because for us here, from... Amanda, yes. for us here, examinations are not going to be done on Zoom. Examinations yes. will be done on Google Classroom. No, I'm saying due time. Because yes, we shall set we shall set we shall set due time, but Google Classroom allows late submission. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, Google Classroom allows late submission, so don't worry. Okay, teacher. Mm. Okay. I think I've, I have answered her well. Uh, let me check to this chat before. Oh, no. <laughs> can there be a quiz, like a quiz? Yes, actually, I was suggesting if I can set my exams like in Quizzy, then we do it within the hour of the, of the Zoom, and then it is over. I'm, going, I'm still debating. We shall talk about that on Friday. I might just set my, uh, my exams on Quizzy, and then you do it live as I am here monitoring exams and it is over. <laughs> I love this child here. I don't know who is this one giving me such a wonderful decision. This, eh, this is beautiful. Let me see. Uh, who was that one giving me that response? I don't know. Uh huh. Can we just use cuisine? And we do exams. This is beautiful. That is Courtney. Can there be like, can it be like a cuisine? Courtney, I will share your answer in the meeting that we are going to have on Friday. Okay, good morning, everyone. I wish you all the best. We want to thank God for allowing us to have a steady network from me and the team of my administrators. I would like to say goodbye. More to read. I want you to read about formal education and then persecution of Christian converts. I'm going to set that question in examination. Actually, I'm going to finish missionaries even in examination. I will bring some questions about formal education and then persecution, Uganda matters, those things will be there. So from me and the team of my administrators, I would like to end this lesson and wish all of you the very best. God bless you and God bless Edify. Many questions are again coming. Sorry, please. I don't need these questions now. My time is over. Who is this one? Which channel? Teacher, please change my name. I will change that one later. Okay, subscribe. Oh, it is called Christian Schools Owners Association. When you go to that channel, to Christian Schools Owners Association, you are going to get these videos. You watch them and get ready for your exams. Somebody was asking for the channel where we can get the YouTube. YouTube videos are there on Christian Schools Owners Association. You will get even this one that I am teaching now. You will get it live on YouTube. It is streaming live right now. So thank you very much and goodbye. Allow me here my blessings from my children as they bless me. Okay. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.